What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Jujutsu Kaisen. We are doing Season 2, Episode 15. For the first time for JJK, we are live on Twitch watching this right now. So if you guys want to be a part of this for the future, maybe next week watch this live with me and then maybe on YouTube as well. Come on over to the Twitch, say what's up. Other than that, check out that Patreon for the full length, full uncut versions as well as early access. I'm not going to waste any more time. We know what the cliffhanger was last week. I have to get into this. Uh... JJK, Season 2, Episode 15. Let's do it. This, even in and of itself, was a, a throwback to Season 1, because Gojo saying, risk your life, don't throw it away. I love that. When he first made his own uh, domain expansion, I love that. Exactly. None of this leaving yourself behind, alright? Luxuations Part 2. I got goosebumps even reading that title. Both stood in witness. Oh, the one who was born in it and the one who could not brush off that curse. To the one who cast it all off. Oh my lord. Look at those eyes. That's your fucking dad. Now Bito instantly recognizes. Has to. Look at that shot. Playful cloud. You do not need that, buddy. God, threw her off like she was nothing. Yes, you did. You, by far, one of the strongest people physically we know. He recognizes the scar? It should have stopped. I love how they worded that. Running rampant. Her technique is running. We lost the opportunity to turn off her technique. And he's no, no, not no words. He's going right after Dagon. Oh, buddy, you just made the most fucked up mistake you've ever done. With playful cloud. That's why. That's why Dagon first. Oh my god. No hesitation whatsoever. My man's got the biggest smile on his face. Oh my god. Bruh, I feel like we're watching this at his speed. Like. I'm trying to process what Toadie is doing. He ate it. He caught it in his mouth. Oh my god. He says sashimi? Bro, Toadie is different, but with Playful Cloud, it's just a whole different ball game, bro. Another big one. Oh, he's there already. Too fast. As it wraps around, that was takes him under? That was kind of smart. Oh my god. Got him in a puddle of piranhas and a sea king's about to eat him. Nothing can even phase this man. Oh my. I want to know their reaction to seeing Toji just come in here and do this. What is Maki, Megumi, Nanami, and Naobito thinking? It's starting to see blurry out. Oh. starting to pierce blood he might actually take out Dagon within five minutes a ghost that's a bar that is literally a ghost that's a dead man walking I don't know I'm so nervous man I'm so happy but so nervous oh my god that is such a dope shot He's sharpening the triple nunchuck and playful cloud into a... He just needs to take out Megami now. The only one stopping the guaranteed hit. Now Obito is going to help out a little bit. Oh, 
I do like that teamwork a lot. I do like that teamwork a lot. Bro, Playful Cloud has been one of our staples and cursed tools from the beginning. Wow, I... Okay, there's Dagon gone. Oh my... God. He's got just like a singular piece of the broken, sharpened, playful cloud. As he's slow walking, menacingly. Say something, please don't attack us, say... Huh? Is he actively knowing that's Megumi getting him out of a dangerous situation? Wait, he's out here alone with him. Whoa. But wait, 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 wait. Is this has to do with the narrator said how now that his murderous fangs have let loose, he's just innately going after the strongest person in the current stage? Jogo? I do respect how much love they have for each other. Like, D Dagon was genuinely pissed that they killed Hanami. Jogo's genuinely pissed. No, please don't do anything to my man. Ow, I swear to God. No, no. I need to see Nanami's body and Maki's body. I believe Maki's alive. There's 24 frames. There's no way. There's no way, right? No. Okay, I gotta, I gotta work through this. Okay, I gotta process this. Okay, I was, f I don't even, I, I was firmly in belief that Nanami was okay at first, but I won't lie. Now Bito looks dead as fuck right there, and if he's saying third one down, I don't. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going until I know. So the ladies are with Yuji. How many fingers is he eating? He's just... He's fading. Can they teleport with the... Oh. Okay, I don't want to pause it again and have another little rant, but... I'm hoping the girls were okay too. I, I don't know them too well, but I like them just because they like Ghetto and I like Ghetto. But this show in JJK in its entirety does power scaling so well with everyone being compared to the pinnacle, Gojo. Everyone is compared to Gojo. The first seven times we see Jogo fight are against Gojo. So we don't truthfully know how powerful these grade ones and special grades are until they fight non-Gojo people. And the absolute millisecond Jogo is fighting people outside of Gojo. I did not know Jogo was like that, bro. They got the roll. This is from the opening. How many fingers are we eat? Oh my. Okay. And they didn't even tell him how many they already fed him. How many? F when y'all said this shit is where shit hits the fan, y'all wasn't lying. When you guys said I wasn't ready for this episode, Again, I thought you guys might have been capping even in the slightest. When am I going to start trusting you guys? So it has something to do with her phone. Wait, whoa, what are their techniques? Wait, it was Sukuna. Oh, 
Bro, they need to tell themselves to breathe. That's how much murderous presence this man has. He gives such Meruem vibes from Hunter x Hunter. Like, even looking at him funny, you're getting murked. You know that's my thumbnail. That's my thumbnail, right? Hold your heads up high. You gotta prostrate, buddy. You better prostrate or your head's coming off. A finger's worth of audience. We're talking about Getu. Imagine, imagine Sukuna versus Getu. Imagine. That's not happening. Geto's dead. But free his body at least. Let him rest in peace. Physically. Wow. That's huge. Bro, I love Sukuna's voice. I can't like anyone in the show, bro. I literally cannot like a single person in the show. Oh, Akutani, Akutani. Oh my God, JJ, what are you doing? Are you okay. Again, I don't want to pause it, but I just thought of this, and I love the show for doing that, bro. I've wondered what their powers were since we saw them in fucking JJK Zero. But we're going to be wondering. I'm going to be wondering for the rest of my life. I'm never going to know because, uh, like, it's... Look at the blood stain. Bro, she got diced like an onion! Perpetual authority would be insane, but he already does have his individual pack that no one knows about with Yuji. We have Sukuna, we have Toji, we have Gojo. I don't even know what happened with Nanami, bro. Please be alive. Please, Maki, be alive. He's got to give you guys the test, the true test. If you can land a single blow. He's like, okay, I'll take this serious if you're true. <laughs> He's like, I'll fucking swing on you. No post credit scene, right? Oh my God. This, in my opinion, is one of those absolutely very rare episodes of anime where I just, and this happens, the AOT does this a lot for me. I just think about it. Like I'm done with editing. I'm playing fucking Counter-Strike later in the day. I'm watching a movie with my fucking friends. I'm at the fucking bar or something. I'm just thinking about it. I'm going to be thinking about this episode for days to come. Not even a question in my mind. And to think that I thought it was all going to be Toji and Dagon. That lasted 30 seconds. We have Megumi and Toji. Oh my god. I was just like, we have Megumi and Toji. I don't even know what's going to go on with Naobito and Re No, I do! I got fucking shish kebobbed by some fire. My man fucking Jogo. Ah, oh, wow. That was an episode to say the least. At what point am I gonna start believing you guys? Like you guys told me Shibuya was gonna blow my mind and say, I'm like, okay, they're saying Shibuya, they're talking, but like, and then you guys are like, no, trust me. This is where shit actually starts. Like Shibuya was good, but then I'm like, okay, Shibuya was good. This is where it starts. And I'm just like, <sighs> at what point am I going to start believing you guys? You know what I'm saying? What, where, where does the trust happen? Cause I don't know why I don't. You guys have not led me astray yet. Episodes are fantastic. Toji doing Toji things. I love the narrator explaining. Okay. I love the narrator explaining, to, explaining Toji and how Toji doing Toji things, but Toji Taking one of our most staple curse tools and weapons, Playful Cloud, breaking it after, first off, stealing it from Maki. Buddy, chill out. That's our girl. 
breaking it, sharpening it, and then fucking, oh my god, to Dagon. Then Gojo was heated. Oh my god, and then Nanami got fucking plastered. Editing this episode is gonna be very hard. Getting it less than 10 minutes is gonna be damn near impossible. But I am gonna go try. If you guys enjoyed this episode, check out that Patreon if you guys want the full uncut version, as well as the Twitch. If you guys would if you guys enjoyed me live streaming the weekly stuff, because I've never done like a seasonal thing live on Twitch before. And you guys want me to do this in the future, maybe the future weeks of JJK or AOT on Saturday or Invincible or other shows. I'm going to be catching up to Friar in Undead Unlock and Eminence in the Shadow sometime soon. So maybe those as well. Let me know if you guys ever want any live reactions because it's always just a vibe hanging out with you guys. Wow. Um, all I can say. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah. Um, drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a, have a great day, Dapper Squad. I thank you guys immensely. Can't thank you enough. Peace out.